Okay, welcome to my studio tour, my brand new art room. Um, I was downstairs uh, off the kitchen and I had like a two walls basically as my art studio. And now I'm upstairs in the spare room. Um, this used to be my son's room, um, but my daughter moved out and my son moved into her room and then we painted this room and my husband put cabinets and now I'm all moved up here. So I still have decorating to do, like the walls and make it cute, but um, it's functional right now. So here we go. So here's, I'm going to go ahead and pan out and give you a tour. I'm on the other side of the room here as I walk in. And here's my cabinets. I wanted to house all my stuff and then be able to close and not see all the mess. <laughs> so that's why we put cabinets in from Ikea. There's my desk. And this wall that I'm standing on <clears throat> is empty right now because we're gonna try to put like a little futon or a bed or something for when guests come over. <clears throat> so, but here's the door. There's my son's room over there. But, <clears throat> so we're walking in and this is what you see. And then over here is the small closet and my Ikea cart. And now I will go ahead and go through all the nooks and crannies of the room. Okay, so here's my sewing desk and then my sewing machine and then also my big shot um, die cut machine that's been in my garage for three years. <laughs> So I'm glad to have it in my space again so that I can start using it again. Um, my dies that I have are very old, so I'll have to start maybe collecting some new ones and get a little up-to-date with, with what's going on. So Tim Holtz, here I come. <laughs> anyway, um, here's my little view of my neighborhood outside here. I think this room has the best view in the house. We have like a little hill behind us, and this is our neighborhood, so... Here in sunny California, Southern California, San Diego, where it's super duper hot today. It's like 100 degrees out with humidity. Ugh. Anyway, I know you Midwesterns don't want to hear me complain about humidity. Anyway, <laughs> so and then behind my <clears throat> sewing machine is just, I've got some jars that I paint, spray painted the silver lids white and, um, you know, just ribbon and some flowers and scrap ribbon. I'm going to get a shelf to put this stuff on because I kind of want to keep this desk a little cleaner. And you can't see those back there and they're they're pretty. So I want to display them. And there's my little pincushion I made. And then here on this little wall that I have is um, a spice rack that I turned into my button, little button collection there. And I also spray painted that white because it was silver too. So anyway, in the drawers, the top drawer is just tons of fabric. Yay! So glad I have it near my sewing machine. <clears throat> and then underneath is this box right here is all tools. Um, pinking shears and oval circle cutters and uh, I've got a handheld drill. I've got my wood burning tool in there. I've got my um, my webcam thing in there. I got all kinds of just little tools in there. And then here I just have like cords and stuff for um, for the computer. And then I've got some of these squeeze bottle things. And then some more buttons. Old hold from memory makers or making memories. And back in. And then that, this little box right here is just current stuff that I'm using, um, like little flowers and stuff that I have and little sayings and words and rub-ons and things like that that I'm using for uh, a project that I'm working on right now. I'm going to start working on projects for Art Craft Fair that I'm in in November. So, And then it's got some Tim Holtz um, tissue paper there. And this is just a little paint can that I made a long time ago and it's just got scrap ribbon in it so I got to get that in, in a spot. And then here's another little uh, basket full of like sponge brushes and um, 
you know, like scrapers and um, just different knives and tools for polymer clay and toothbrushes and chip brushes and all that kind of stuff. So there's that. And there's my tripod for my camera when I'm filming. And then I've got a little sewing basket back there. I gotta put this when I get the ribbon taken care of. I'll probably put this back on the desk. Um, here's my clip it up that I also spray painted white. Hello. I wanted a white room. I want it to be very bright in here since it's small. And then here's all my alphabet, all my alphabet stickers. I keep all my other stickers in a binder, but all my alphabet stickers are here. And then inside this little cabinet that I got at Michael's and I painted myself, uh, I'm going to put all my die cuts in there and all my embossing folders and everything. Um, I just have to go get them out of the garage. And then um, down there I just have a couple of pencil bags uh, full of um, all my colored pencils and I've got a ton of colored pencils so <laughs> that's what those are. I've, I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with all of my pens and pencil storage. If you have any ideas, let me know because I've got so many. Okay, so let's go to my desk now. Um, there's my computer. Let me put that down. <clears throat> so these are the, the containers that I have of all my pens and pencils that I use all the time. So these I know for sure I want to keep on my desk and I'm probably going to hang these off of a towel rack with an S hook on my wall to get it off my desk because I want to keep my desk clean as much as possible. Um, and then these are some tools that I don't have enough scissors, do I? <laughs> anyway, those are all my scissors and some more like tools that I use all the time and then my um, crocodile and my tiny attacher. And so I really like these. I got these at at Michael's. <clears throat> they were actually in, they were on clearance from Christmas and um, I thought they were really cute. And then in the $1.50 section they had these these little crowns and fleur-de-lis. Um, I don't know what they were supposed to be for but I thought they were cute and I E6000 thousand them to the to these and I thought it turned out kind of cute so got to figure out how to, if I'm going to keep those there or what. Um, yeah, back from my mortgage days <laughs> when I had my own office. <clears throat> Sorry. And then down here I just have some, this is just some immediate tools, uh, things that I'm working on right now with some projects that I'm working on. So I just keep them in these little colanders right there. But I'm probably going to put sewing stuff in there, like just little, you know, like all my different attachments to my sewing machine and stuff and put it on my sewing desk once I clear it off. And then I've got my... Faber Castells, um, gel uh, not gelatos, but um, what is the other one? These. Yay, I love these. Pit pens. Big brush pit pens in here. Got that from Mother's Day. Yay. Got that there. I use that a lot. And then um, over here, I have all my other stuff that I use all the time my gelatos. My Sharpie markers, my gel pens, um, oil crayons, oh, more oil pastels, um, along with some um, oil paint sticks. These are awesome. And um, my favorite all time tools in the world are my Neo Colors 2s, watercolor crayons. Love them. My favorites. Okay, let's back up a little. And there's my all my paints right next to me. And then over here, I have my my little caddy here with all my paints and mediums and my paint brushes. So whenever I'm ready to paint, I just pull this over to my desk and I've got everything next to me. So I've got gesso and gel medium and glazing liquid and all my fluid acrylics and some of my heavy bodies. Um, you know, molding paste and uh, spackle paste and all any kind of paste you can think of I've got over there. And then <clears throat> my cute little chair I got from Ikea. I love it. It was like 40 bucks. I got it on sale. Anyway, <laughs> my drawers here. This this one just has, um, you know, just office supply stuff. And, you know, I love me my Carmex. So <laughs> I got to have tons of those. <clears throat> anyway, and then in this middle drawer I have all my heavy body golden um, paints and some 
uh, rulers and such. And I got some Stuart Gill paints back there. I haven't used those in a long time. They're probably all dried out. And then over here, I just have the stuff that I use all the time. Um, I'm getting ready to teach a journal class at Charity Wings um, Art Center. And so that I can remember everybody's names. I got these little tags. <laughs> anyway. Um, so I'm just keeping those in there for now. But um, all my stays on inks and my little stamp that I stamp on the back of everything I sell, whether it be canvases or any of my artwork or whatever I sell. And then my um, date stamp and then my glasses so I can see up close, especially when I'm sewing. And then this is my little pencil bag when I want to draw. I just grab that and my sketchbook and, and I'm ready to go. Down here, and this is just all of my adhesives and glue and glue dots. And, and here is all my tools that I use all the time. My water bucket, my, um, my glue gun, my brayers, my bubble wrap, scrapers, sponges, uh, gold leaf, whatever. I've got in there and I've got my deli wrap right there. And then under here is a cubby, and that's where all of my, let's see if you can see it's kind of dark, I just have a couple, um, my craft mats, and then my cutters are in there. And then down here, I just have my laminator under there, and just a couple of containers, and then there's my easel that folds up nicely under there. <clears throat> and then I have my heat gun and a bunch of paper pads, uh, like watercolor paper pads and, uh, canvas paper pads and, and such. So I don't know why I keep saying such. I know I don't talk like that in real life, so <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> and then this drawer opens up and I've just got like, I've got my prints. I've got other artist prints, Jane DeRozier. She's an awesome artist. This is one of my absolute favorites that she's ever done. I need to put this up in my room. It totally matches my colors. Anyway, I have a ton of prints from other artists that I really want to make a wall of. Um, and frame them and they would be so cute. So anyway, I just got my, my laminating sheets and you know photo paper and stuff like that in here. And that's that's it for the desk. So let's go up to the to the cupboards. Okay, so when you open up the cupboard on the left side, you've got um I've got these big bin, uh, fabric bins that um, I got from Big Lots yesterday. They were on sale for $4.99 a piece and I just love that um, chevron fabric and um, it kind of matched my room colors that I wanted and it's in the cupboard anyway so it doesn't really matter but anyway so I got those and I will show you what's inside of them. Okay just one second. Okay so I took all the bins out because um, I know I wouldn't be able to do it with one hand so I took them all out so we can go through them and um, what I have left in here is, this is that binder that I was telling you about earlier where I have all my stickers in. So I just keep them all in here in um, page protectors. And that way I just grab it when I need it. And then here's my, my art journal that I'm almost done with. I only have like two pages left and I'm, I can do a new one. Do you ever get sick of your old art journal? Like you've worked on it for so long, you're just done with it. <laughs> you want to do it different size or something. Anyway, here's my sketchbook, and then here's some some just some drawings that I did and stuff. So, that. and then up there, I just have like a couple of things. I've got my acrylic solutions book. Hey, Julie, shout out Julie and Chris Cousins book. Uh, Julie Pritchard, sorry, Julie Pritchard and Chris Cousin's book, Acrylic Solutions. It's awesome. And also, I love the Plaster Studio um, from um, Judy Wise and Stephanie Lee. Um, and my little doodle um, book um, by Stephanie Coffey, and, or Corfee, I'm sorry, Corfee. And then um, I have tons of other books, but those are kind of like my favorites right now. So <clears throat> I have those up there, and then I just have like a notepad thing, and that's it. So let's go into these bins. This bin is all of my stuff that I have that I'm going to, stuff that I do, pull out during Christmas time and I like make stuff with. So I've got all kinds of like, here, I've got all kinds of wooden, I like to make cute signs with these, <clears throat> these little, or I like to make ornaments out of them, my paint. Um, people like me to, every year they put in orders to paint 
like their children and I just do like little whimsical um, pictures of their kids and then put their name on it and they love that um, and then these are little um, paper um, clay cookie I, I, I had somebody request that I make these little ornaments um, from their gra grandmother's um, German molds, uh, cookie molds. So they gave me all their German cookie molds and I pressed them into clay. She wanted me to draw them at first and I thought, well, why don't we make actual like you know ornaments with, out of paper clay? So I did that and um, these are so cute painted. And I have a ton left. I just made extra so that I could have some more to do next year. And um, they were a big hit, and they're really super cute when they're painted and, and they're light. And anyway, that's those. And then I just have like some Christmas trees and bubble wrap, and just all kinds of different alterable items, basically, what this is. And I'll usually see what I can do with this. You know, I've got these little blank signs, and I'll just kind of go to town and do different things for Christmas. That's that. Put that back real quick. <clears throat> and then this one just has all of my spray varnishes, spray fixative, um, workable fixative, my um, spray adhesives, that kind of thing. And <clears throat> just these little bags that I use for putting small things in and selling them. Um, and then here's my jewelry. I went through all the jewelry supplies that I had and I narrowed it down to this box right here. And I don't do a lot of jewelry making, but I would like to. I'd like to learn how to do that. So I think I have pretty much what I would need in there to do that. And so, and then in here I have, <laughs> if you're an old scrapbooker, um, back it up here. If you're a scrapbooker from long ago, like I am, then you remember these tins. These were all the rage back in the day. These these little um, lunch pails that you could buy and you could decorate them. People got so creative. They'd decorate them and then they would put their like, cards in there or they'd do like a mini album and put a mini album in there. And I think it's time to bring that back. So I'm gonna keep these and uh, decorate them soon. Anyway, some more chipboard books and a canvas book in here. Some more alterable stuff. And then in this one, this is stuff that didn't sell last year um, from my, uh, all the craft fairs or whatever I did and online. Um, these are like wall hangings for Christmas and some other little things that I did. Like this is kind of an example of the, the little um, ornaments that I'd make with those wood, with the wood pieces. And this was just a random one that I made. Um, it says Wish on it. Um, but usually what I do is um, I take custom requests and people will um, tell me like, oh, you know, make the hair black or blue or blue. Make the hair <laughs> blonde or brown and their eyes blue and, you know, their favorite colors are this. And then I usually just kind of make a little girl or a boy, um, you know, and they put their kid's name on it and they give it to their kids for Christmas or they have it as their ornament for the year or whatever so those are those are huge <laughs> in my little world here people order those from me all the time um, so um, that's that and then here's a book that I made um, it's a journal book you know it's just a journal and I just kind of collaged I didn't paint anything on this I just kind of collaged it book you know I bind it you know bound it um, I sewed the pages in these this is pretty thick watercolor paper and I made about four or five of these some of them I pan painted and some of them I collage like this and they all sold except for this one so I still have it I don't know if it's still in my Etsy shop or not but if it's not I'll have to relist it and this is a little workshop I took with a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and we just made this book and each time we went to the class we made a couple of different um, we learned a couple of different techniques and then we made an, a sample and um, you know, now we have a whole book full of all kinds of techniques, stamp techniques. It's, it's a really cute idea. It was really, really cute. Maybe I should do a class on something like this. That'd be, that'd be super cute. Um, and um, so there's that. And then when I went to Art Fest, Art Fest 2010, I was involved in a swap. The theme was Once Upon a Time. 
And I think these are three by three. And we had to make, you know, however many there were in, in the people in the swap. And then when you got to Art Fest, you got this really awesome book. And it's got all, everybody that participated, all their cute little, their little three by threes that they did. Super cute. And here's mine. Here, hold on one second. Let me get my page. It's really hard to do this with one hand. Here's the one I did. Alice. Alice in Wonderland. So it was fun. I miss Art Fest. So that's that. And then I did another swap at Art Fest, which was an ATC book. So we made a bunch of ATCs. And um, let's see if I can find mine in here. And so when we got to Art Fest, we got these cute little, oh, here's mine. We got this cute little, it was, the theme was number five, the number five. And, um, yeah, I think that was it. So I just put a number five on there. I think other people got a little bit more creative than I did on that, but that was, that was my ATC. So <laughs> anyway, that was fun. It was fun to get these little books. And I need to figure out a way I can display these um, in my room because they're so cute. I want to like, sit down and go through them and enjoy them, but I need to figure out maybe a hook or something to hang them on. So that's that cabinet. And now we'll go on to the middle cabinet. Okay, so that's that cabinet. I'm still kind of figuring out what I'm doing and where I'm putting stuff. So um, that's up there. I just have... I have in that box right there I have paper packs so like eight by eight little paper packs in there and then I have all my punches in there I don't have a lot of punches I'm not big on punches but I do have some and they're in there and then I just have some sketch pads and some like a mixed media art journal up there that's blank and um, in this middle one I have let me get it down hold on there I have all my spray inks still trying to figure out what I'm gonna put these um, I don't know that I want to keep reaching up there for them um, so I'm thinking about maybe trying to get like a little um, like a shelf or something that I can put them up and that way I can just grab them when I need them but for now they're up there <laughs> and then there's nothing exciting up here um, other than I just have some glitter some big um, bottles of glitter in that middle um, container and then the bottom one just has like miscellaneous paints that I need to go through and see if they're even you know if they're all dried out or what they are so and then at the top I just have a box up there full of all like little um, bits of paper and stuff like that so that's that one and then this one over here all right what do I have in here I'm still getting used to what I oh yeah <laughs> All right, these, I have all these little bins that you can get from Target. And they just have uh, different kinds of things in them. They're not really in order. I've got like my um, polymer clay in there. I've got a bunch of tags in here. I've got stuff for the computer, my pepper spray. Hey, a lot of good it's gonna do me in there if I get attacked. Um, I've got like buttons and like just different like rub-on sheets and stuff in there, like small ones. And then I've got like wooden stuff. <laughs> this, a bunch of little like trinkets and stuff in there. And then I've got like some small little ink pads and some daubers, paint daubers. And I've got all my, um, uh, what do those call embossing powders, flock, all that kind of stuff. And then my washi tape. I don't really have too much washi tape. I don't need to get crazy with that, I don't think. I got like my stickles and my, um, I don't know, for now I just have my um, blades in there for my cutting boards and just more like bling and that kind of stuff. So, and then up there I have some foam stamps, which I need to try to figure out what to do with because I'll never use them if they're up there. So <laughs> I need to figure out something else. And then up there I've got some oil paints and some gouache uh, paints, tubes and some DMC floss. And then up there is, what's in there? Hope, please. Okay, up there I just have like some decorative scissors and stuff. Nothing much. <laughs> so there's that. Okay, here's um, 
the right side of the closet. It's a very small closet. Um, the bar doesn't even go all the way across, see? It just goes to there, and then there's this weird wall that, like, protrudes out at an angle. So, like, what are you supposed to do with that? Um, but anyway, I put some hooks. Well, I, I use these hooks from when my son was in here. And <clears throat> I just hang a few things. This is a class that I'm currently editing right now that I'm going to be teaching. So, stay tuned for that. Um, there's my little Finn doll from Adventure Time. Love that show. Love him. And um, here's my little art fest um, uh, what's it called <laughs> smock um, this was my grandfather's senior olympics medal one of many um, he used to be in the senior olympics and he's got a lot of medals and so anyway i got to keep that one um, and then here's my um, camera bag with my camera in it and this little thing is a uh, jewelry just a little jewelry holder and it's just got like odds and ends stuff like glitter and like beads and glue sticks, E6000, crayons, um, powders, I got more um, hot glue gun sticks and more glitter and I just thought that was an easy way to kind of get stuff put away and um, down there I have one of those little magazine rack things that I've got like like some packaging material in there and um, I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, packaging material and um, you know I got a big uh, ruler in there and some other stuff so and then that's a bag full of um, projects that I'm working on for my sorry for my art show um, craft show that I'm going to be doing and then on this side oops up here I just have all of my like books and magazines um, that I used in my artwork I just rip out pages from these like dictionaries and you know books and whatever and then I also have all my magazines and my books my art books and stuff like that in there and then here's another <clears throat> just a little container of stickers and a lot of smashbook stuff in there um, just stuff that I can reach real quick and and get if I need it and this just has like some twine and and uh, jute in there and then I've got this it has just like folders and chipboards not uh, chipboard pieces in there and um, napkins. I was in a napkin swap. <clears throat> so I got all these different napkins, um, which are really cool to use in your art journals or in your artwork. Um, and then this is my little like mail station that I've been wanting forever. It's got a folder in there with all my prints. Um, so when somebody orders a print from me or a bookmark, then I can just go to the station. I've got little thank you cards. I've got my, my cards. I've got my um, return address labels here and just a bunch of envelopes and, and all that kind of good stuff so now I have one place I can go um, to get all that stuff ready and then here's my paper carrier thing I had a whole nother one but I downsized um, all of my paper like I've had paper for years like companies that aren't even in business anymore I had papers and so I um, we're having a yard sale this weekend and I'm gonna be giving away a lot of them <clears throat> or not giving away, but selling, hopefully, um, this whole other bin that I have full of paper. But now I've downsized to this little drawer of pattern paper. And this one has all Christmas papers in it. I do a lot of stuff at Christmas time. This just has like, um, like eight and a half by 11 papers, all different colors. And then here's some a sample of my napkins and then some tissue paper I like to use that stuff in my art and then here's just uh, a bunch of papers that um, I used um, or that I've made through the you know jelly printing or whatever um, and you know just different ephemera and things like that are in here and then my top one here see it's all used up <laughs> it's all dirty because um, it is my stencils and when I do my art journaling class at my house, I we do a lot of stenciling and we share it. And you know, it, that's why it got all <laughs> a little messy there. But anyway, no big deal. So there's that. And then down here is my Alex IKEA thing. I love this thing. This is awesome. And this has my bookbinding stuff. It's all my bookbinding materials. Um, some art journals. Uh, this is the art journal that we're doing in the class that I teach um, at my house. And 
Um, and then I've got some other ones made down there. Um, and then all my like tapes and stuff and um, duct tape, like all my duct tapes in there in the back. I don't really have a lot of duct tape. Um, drywall tape. The second one I have, this is all of my like watercolor stuff. Watercolors, um, twinkling H2Os, and if you lift this up, my jelly plate, hey. And then I've got my soft pastels right there. So, like that. And now we go with the stamps. I got this thing full of stamps. This thing full of stamps. And this full of stamps. This is all, well, yeah, this is all older stuff, but yeah, embossing stuff and blocks and you know, I really take care of my blocks, right? Um, <clears throat> the cleaning pads, um, stuff to make your own stamps. And then the last one is ink pads. All my ink pads, inks, ink, re-inkers, more inks back here, my distress inks, my Tim Holtz tool thingy, and some more stays on. So, I think that's it. I think that's the tour. Um, I'll go around one more time, but that's it. That's the tour of my room, and I hope you like it. I hope you get inspired. Um, you know, maybe I give you some ideas or whatever of some things to do with your own um, room. So, anyway, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.